हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग नमस्ते आई एम सो एक्साइटेड टू सी यू ऑल हियर आई रियली मिस्ड ऑल ऑफ यू लास्ट वीक एंड हेयर वी आर सो टुडे वी ऑल आर हियर फॉर द स्पायरल आर्ट सेशन एज यू नो आई एम योर होस्ट निधि प्रकाश एंड माई को होस्ट माई हजबेंड अजय प्रकाश इज हियर विद मी हे अजय हेलो फोक्स He is helping me in the chat, as you can see, and I am focusing on the art. So, I am drawing the spiral art in a six inch by six inch square, as you can see. I am going to use a little thick black marker pen for the string, medium sized tip black marker pen for all the spirals, and pencil and Q tip for the last beautiful section for the some shading and blending. so as you see these are our all some of the previous spiral art they all are similar yet they all are different if you want you can put some twist if you want you can add some colors and they all are beautiful abstract designs and let me just tell you if you want you can like keep them like that put a sticker and draw the string so that you know in future any time if you want to draw it the same time because just by watching the final design it is little difficult for some time to think like what might be the string so this is the best way to draw the string and stick it in the best of the paper that's just a uh, idea i'm just giving you a lot of people asked me like how you remember so this is the one way to remember and other way i just use for myself is like i made these string designs like this i started from the one so these all are the string pattern which i have worked so far these all are the string so these are very rough design just for myself to keep it keep it as a you know my own reference and today is the 50 56th pattern which we are going to do and this is the pattern i have decided and lot of people asked me to share this sheet so i'm going to share this sheet at my patreon you guys can check there later on maybe today and today or tomorrow i'll share all the three pictures there okay so let's start so as you all know we always start with the border in the spiral art right so i'm using little this thick pen and i'm drawing the border you can use ruler you can go free hand it's absolutely your choice and it is absolutely okay if lines are not absolutely straight or uh, they are little bit more little bit slanted it's fine and after this we are going to draw two slanted parallel lines one two <laughs> oops so for these slanted parallel lines if you want you can give them little weight you can give them little thickness you can do these thickness or these uh finishings at the end or you can give them in the beginning it's absolutely your choice you can use ruler i'm just doing them in the beginning so uh, prerna is asking what kind of paper is used for this drawing so you can draw on any paper on any print any printer paper i'm here using this strathmore artist style this is the bristol artist style they pre cut in the 6 inch by 6 inch square sheet made for the pattern drawing and but you know any smooth finish paper is fine and uh, you can use any kind of paper here thicker and smoother paper is 
what is preferred i just use little thicker tip here because i really want a thick line here that's it that's enough thick right here you go generally i do all these finishings at the end but in this particular design i really wanted to do it in the beginning oh and now we'll join it from here in the corner just this one and right now we are still working in our string and I'm looking at my string design I decided that design two weeks ago right but we couldn't do last week don't worry guys I'll give you ample time to copy here you go Oh, let me keep it like that it's perfect so now I'm waiting for you guys to complete all the string if you want you can write down in the chat when you are done drawing the string and then I'm going to use my this uh, micron 08 pen now for drawing rest of all the spiral lines so I'm looking at the chat guys Please write down in the chat when you guys are done drawing all the string. Done. Awesome. Awesome. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you everyone. Thank you Nuha, Hiral, Sujata, Drishti, Kanak and yes Hiral one. Thank you for writing one. You guys can write one if you are drawing along with me. You guys can write two if you are just enjoying watching this video and you can draw later if you want because this video is still available with the same link at my YouTube channel. And yes, thank you Anita, Drishti. So write down one if you are drawing along with me write down two if you are just uh, enjoying watching the drawing now we are start working with this corner left triangle we are starting with the triangular line starting from the top left corner little slanted lines Keep your lines as close as possible and try to maintain the shape. I mean that triangular shape, the outer shape which we started working on. Keep drawing slanted line until you reach to the core of the shape or the center part of the shape. Okay. Okay, I'm going a little slow, no problem. I'm waiting after it. I'm waiting after doing one section so I started from this corner where I'm keeping my finger and I started this way clockwise. I started alongside with this slanted line. So now we'll work in this second triangle section 
and we'll work again with this top left corner and this time we'll go anti-clockwise okay guys If you want you can use ruler for your lines just take care that your lines are slanted and they are not very much far apart and they are not kind of all the way touching to each other try to maintain the distance try to maintain the shape Go slow, be focused, especially this spiral art pattern drawing is a very fun drawing. It's just repeated pattern. And we got this beautiful fan shape. So in our all spiral art, as you see, either we get the fan shape or the twisted columns. So. Here we got the beautiful fan shape. I hope everyone is done with here now. Now we'll start with this bottom corner here and we'll go clockwise. okay so let me just complete this section and then i will wait okay guys and i'll give you the instructions like what how i started i actually started from this point and i go clockwise So here I want to draw one more line as it is okay. So now I'm waiting for you guys. Don't worry, I'm just doing it a little bit more on focus here. Yes. I'm waiting, no worries. Take your time, take your time, guys. So we are done with the three sections. First we started with this point for all these two triangles and then for this triangle I started from this bottom point and we go clockwise. Again we will start with this bottom point and then we will go anti-clockwise for this triangle. Thank you Hiral. I am waiting Shubhi. I am waiting for 30 more seconds. And while waiting, let me just remind you guys, if you have not subscribed my channel, please leave the chat, go outside and click on the subscribe button and click on the thumbs up button. So whenever I go live, you can, you'll be notified, you'll get notification from the YouTube. Like tomorrow, we are going to do this mandala or you can call it zendala. And Sunday, we are going to do this beautiful zen doodle pattern. So... Please go ahead and subscribe and let's start from this triangle now. So for this triangle we will start from this bottom point again and we will go 
anti-clockwise. And guys, this time, first time in my Patreon, I'm uploading some videos. So every Sunday, one video will be unlocked for the patrons and they all are a little intricate design. I will give you the glimpse of all those designs which are available on my Patreon. So if you want to learn those, if you want to unlock those videos, you can check my Patreon for those and you will not only get all those pet those all patron only videos which are uploading on this month as well as you will you will be able to see all the past videos too all the past patron only videos and mom is in the back hello mom Good evening. Thank you for joining. I'm so happy to see you here. So we are done with our top left section guys and now it's the time to work in this bottom section. Yeah, let's wait about 15 20 seconds. Okay. Catch up. Okay. I'm waiting. Till then while waiting let me show you guys what are the three uh, pro three projects you are going to see this one. Let me just make this a clip. So if you want to see what are the projects or what are the videos you can unlock, this will you can see in one part video on 1st of November at my Patreon. This will be in the two part videos in the next two Sundays in the November. I'm sorry, it's little covered in the polybag, so not that. I think visible this is little mixed media on mandala and this is one beautiful gem finished or the glossy finished uh, zen doodle it is also a two part in the one part you will learn this circle the gem button kind of thing and the next part you'll learn all this so you can unlock all these five videos at patreon this month and if you join the patreon you will not only get all these five videos as well as all the past intricate mandalas and dot painting arts and acrylic art videos Oops. okay everybody's done awesome now we'll start working from this top right corner triangle shape we will start from this point and we will go clockwise So here is some trick like sometimes if you give extra gap in between two lines you can draw one line and no one can find out it's a trick or it's a cheat you can call it but uh, it's just a style yes why do we call it a trick or cheat right this is just a style of finishing your work 
and now we'll work in this one and again we'll start from this corner and we'll go clockwise okay guys I'm changing my pen it's giving me hard time you can see right oops oops <laughs> thank you for subscribing <laughs> these little funny creatures It is so interesting you are just drawing simple lines but still they are giving you beautiful abstract pattern right guys and the best part is that I also draw I'm also drawing this first time with you I just decided the string and every single time this is my this is my 56th string guys this is the 56th string I remember because I can see there are 20 strings then 40 strings and here there is the 16th so 56th string I'm doing 56th spiral art session and every single time we are drawing it just the first time I just decide the string and decide just the direction and the starting point in my mind but even I don't know how it will come out when it is all done so I just have an idea in my mind but still again when you get the final finishing uh, final product then it mesmerizes you because it's absolutely different and that is the fun and that is the you know the charm of doing this kind of art now we are again going to start from this top right corner as we did in these two part and we'll go clockwise so in this particular design what I decided in my mind that on the top part we are going we are getting all the fans and in the bottom part we are getting all the twisted columns so if you draw if you draw all the adjacent sections in the same direction you will get twisted columns if you draw all the adjacent columns in the opposite direction you will get fans so you decide accordingly here I wanted all the twisted columns so I'm drawing all the adjacent sections going into the same direction so that I can get the twisted columns in the top part if you remember we draw all in the different direction like if one in the clockwise then the other one is in the anti-clockwise and that makes so much difference yeah, can you wait after this one and there's a bunch of new people today on the stream so mm -hmm. if you can show what we're doing tomorrow and the day after that okay. probably will be helpful for the new folks okay thank you Ajay for letting me know I'll do that so um, for all the uh, new companions you all know my name uh, for you I'm my name is Nidhi Prakash I'm your host and my husband Ajay Prakash is helping me out in the chat he's the co-host of the session and he he takes care of all the technical stuff background uh, all the behind the scene thing and I focus on the art so that's how we are working as a team 
and I welcome everybody who is joining me today and who is joining me since my all past sessions here so we generally do pattern drawing in all three days every Friday we generally do spiral arts like these are all the kind of the spiral arts we do every Friday and Saturdays we do mandalas this is the mandala which we are going to do tomorrow mandala or zandala style and every Sunday we do zandoodle this is the zandoodle which we are going to do this coming Sunday day after tomorrow so you can join me and you can see all past recordings of the all live sessions and all the videos of zandala mandala and uh, the zandoodles on my youtube video and all the youtube channel so again i'm going to do in this one starting from this right corner and going the clockwise so as you see i didn't change the direction guys here all my these four blocks i started from the top right corner and uh, i started from the top left corner and i go towards the right hand side all the clockwise so the same direction same direction of the starting point that's how i get all the twisted columns i'm sorry guys i was supposed to wait i think i will definitely wait after this i will not start the bottom two parts i'm waiting now i'll keep my pen down here as you can see Hey Celine, thank you Preeti, let me see in the chat what you guys are saying. Thank you Priyanka and you know guys once you are done drawing this you can share your artwork at my discord and let me show you discord quickly. So you can download the app discord in your mobile. And then click on the link link is must be there in the chat or if Ajay will put the link in the chat you can get the link in the video description also and once you open the discord it will be something like that you open it and in the discord you see this is the October challenge uh, every single month of the October we are following the Jake Parker challenge that's the whole worldwide artist challenge you can join that and here is a channel that is called art corner channel and people are submitting beautiful nidhi people are submitting their work this is the, our last week spiral work this is last week zendoodle work and you can submit your own artwork also whatever you guys are doing and this is a beautiful thank beautiful aparna very nice beautiful aparna so you can share your work here beautiful rukmani nice beautiful aruna Awesome Dhruti, awesome Jayashree, beautiful Shanti, awesome Shruti Rathi, you drew beautiful, I really liked it, awesome Shanti, beautiful Garbha scene and we can see like some digital artwork also, so it's not only just uh, stopped at one style of art, you know, you can share your any kind of artwork, you can share your uh, beautiful Manjula so you can share these are the inktober artwork these are all again zendala artwork so this is a beautiful art community and here is one upcoming project there you can see these are the one i showed you you can unlock all those videos those are the patron only videos but these are the open for all videos which you are watching right now and every friday saturday sunday and there are many more things you can see in the discord once you join it this is absolutely free you can join discord and you can enjoy all those channels and uh, folks take a minute to subscribe the channel and hit the like button as well it helps us grow as well thank you ajay and thank you everybody and yes please subscribe the channel it is free for you and it will help us to grow our channel and encourages us to keep running these kind of sessions for you okay so now in these two parts again we will start from this top right corner and we'll go clockwise So 
so don't forget to submit your work at discord at art corner you will not only submit your work and encourage us in fact you will see other participants work also and sometimes you see people put their own element also uh, like they use different different kind of shades colors some metallic uh, materials or whatever uh, like gives you happiness you can use that kind of medium material and decorate it and after drawing this we'll do a little bit uh, designing in this section and then the main important part and the main important part is the shading and we are for the shading we are going to use our graphite pencil and q-tip if you want you can use gray color pen if you want you can use any other different color pen different color pencils it is absolutely your choice how you want to Give the final finishing to your artwork. Uh, Ruth's creation asking is asking, what pen are you using for the spiral art? So I always use the same pen for all my three pattern drawing, either the spiral art or the Zen Doodle or the Mandala. These are the Pigma Sakura Micron pen. They come in a set of different tip sizes, but generally I use just one 0.5 mm tip size in the session. But in my intricate designs, in my patron only sessions, you will find me using uh, various different pen, various different tip size pen, but of the same brand. Like I showed you in this one. If you see, there are the very finer tip pen I have used. If you unlock this section, you will find out all the materials and the pens which I am using. Like you see, they come in the various tip sizes, all the pen, like and so based on their number their tip size different like this is 02 this is 08 so, but this is a medium tip size 0.5 mm i really like this for using in all my this six inch by six inch square uh, pattern drawing sessions and the link of all this are available at my discord in the material list channel with all the amazon link and as well as I think I put the link of all the materials which I am using in the video description which you are watching. You can see that later after the session. And if still you don't find it, you can talk with me in Discord later after the session or any time. Just leave a message and I'll see there. Yay, we are done with the spiral drawing but here is a little twist here and we have used that pattern lot of times in our spiral art and in fact you know in the inktober last my this uh, beautiful uh, uh, dream catcher i have used that pattern you see that little net pattern so we are just going to draw that net pattern here it is very very easy and fun to draw draw i really like drawing that pattern so start from here one corner please look carefully I'm just zooming it more and look carefully it is just going up circle going down these are the little twists sometimes we put in our work sometimes we add colors sometimes we add different kind of this kind of design Sometimes we add little contour uh, lines to give it more 3D-ish look, more illusion. So they uh, give a little fun and you know, uh, just a little twist to our work. That's it. I really love uh, giving this kind of twist. They are very subtle. If you want, you can add, you can draw this pattern with different color pen also as an accent. Or maybe you can add different color pencil or the color um, a sketch pen marker pen later after drawing this keep drawing until you reach to the 
corner and here also I'm just kind of you know going like that okay so that's it now the most important part is the shading so for the shading I'm using my this graphite pencil and the number is 2b but you can use any pencil a school drawing a school pencil which kids are kids use in the school as general 2hb pencil or any pencil will work and you see where these curvy lines are coming I just want to reinforce these lines with the graphite pencil I'm not laying down the graphite with the tip as you can see i'm just using the side of the tip that helps in blending very well and we don't get the pencil lines pencil marks so keep your pencil as low as possible so that you get beautiful these kind of uh, pencil graphite laying down don't use the tip guys please And one uh, one more thing guys if you are joining me tomorrow for this uh, for this mandala art please don't forget to keep the uh, compass with you this is really important tool for tomorrow's artwork keep the compass with you and keep the ruler these two things compass and ruler with the graphite pencil with the eraser for the mandala art they both they uh, these all tools are really important okay guys now i'm using this q-tip and i'm just blending And you see these they just give another dimension to your work when you do these subtle blending and you know uh, they give beautiful sometimes they give beautiful illusion sometimes they create a beautiful depth and uh, another perspective like it adds to your artwork and if you want like something is coming over the top it's just the graphite pencil you can easily erase it no problem so this is so easy to get rid of it and don't throw away your used q-tip keep them in one pouch separately because sometimes just for the soft blending we just use those q-tips we don't really use graphite pencil to lay down so don't throw them away keep them in one pouch they are very useful until your this q-tip is all broken and all that stuff keep them safe and <laughs> it's happening here and now a very soft blending in fact i'm just laying down a little bit here inside alongside with this dark line yes it's looking nice and here just the soft blending So if you want we can use you know white white uh, charcoal pencil in between to bring it like more uh, depth and uh, height and lows because wherever we are putting our graphite we are taking down uh, like uh, taking it to the background in the little like taking it in the uh, back side or in the background and wherever we are using the white charcoal pencil we are bringing it up more towards our side so that's how we decide where to lay down the graphite 
and we have to use the white charcoal pencil or the white jelly roll pen or maybe just we use the eraser to keep it very clean and neat and give it a shine that's all now guys whatever pattern drawing you are do you do there is one last most important thing if you want to write down i'm waiting for you guys for us for 30 seconds write down what is the last and the most important thing we should do after every pattern drawing hey rohini no worries if you join now you can uh, catch up later like once we are done with the session we are kind of done in one last one minute next one minute and you can restart it and yes kanak awesome date and signature and appreciate awesome rajkumari kanak geeta beautiful so now i'm signing my initials and p nidhi prakash and today's date is 23 so 10.23.20 and now it's time to praise that is the last and the most important thing is to hold your work in your art and praise yourself you can pat your shoulder and you can say good job say aloud your name good job nithi prakash you did beautiful same way please say aloud your name and say some good words to yourself as well as to your artwork this is a beautiful artwork beautiful abstract artwork we all did today thank you for joining me the top part is all the fans the bottom part is all the twisted columns i hope you like it and we'll see each other tomorrow for the mandala and sunday for this zen doodle okay guys be prepared with your all the materials and see you tomorrow and day after tomorrow bye